Welcome, everyone, to Pitbull Stadium, not far from Miami and the home of the FIU Panthers. And today, this fan base eager to show everyone what the Panthers' home field advantage is all about. And this with two teams from Conference USA squaring off in a weekday clash to set the table for the weekend ahead. As we'll see, the winners of five straight, the Sam Houston Bearcats taking on the Florida International Panthers. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College Football. I'm Reese Davis, David Pollack, and Jesse Palmer with me in the booth. Guys, we are ready to tee it up. The Bearcats will put total leather to crank us up. And he takes this from inside the five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. So FIU's offense will get the first possession of the game. And here's the man they rally around, and he has earned that type of respect, David. You dang right. You earn it by doing it, and he's done it at such a high level. Everyone believes in this young man, and Palmer, there's a reason why. You're right, David. He's been in the big moments, and he's won the big games. This guy delivers when the game is on the line. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Panthers in the hurry up. On third down, he drops to throw. They've got the screen set up. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. FIU will line up to punt. Makes a move. Or left him grasping for air. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. So the Sam Houston Bearcats offense headed on to the field. Our first look at them today. Here are our impact players for this game, and it goes beyond executing an assignment to make an impact in the game. Yeah, obviously we were talking to both coaching staffs this week, and we asked them who needs to step up and play while they immediately pointed to these guys right here. They are the key for their respective teams. Yeah, and they don't always show up in the box score, but these are the guys that are the leaders. These are the guys getting everybody organized and have to play well for their team to succeed. After this strong run on second down, third down coming. Do they do it again? Dropping back, it's Bauer. And they can't make the connection on third down. And the Bearcats decide to punt it away. Let's see if he can help the coverage team out with this one. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. This drive will start from the 19-yard line. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Into the pile, maybe got one. He stopped at the 21. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He'll do it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Pocket starts to collapse. And the sack all the way back at the five. Quarterback sacks is a trend that this offense would like to put an end to pretty quick. Somehow they were able to win their last game out, even though they gave up four sacks in that one. That was a huge point of emphasis for this coaching staff. And here early in this one, first quarter, they've now already given up one. FIU will line up the punt. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. They make the stop, and that is exactly what you want out of your punt cover unit. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. After a punt on their last possession, they are set up in plus territory this time. And honestly, it wouldn't have mattered if they scored a touchdown in their last possession. You've got to be able to turn the page and see this is a brand new opportunity to go get points. Yeah, and your defense has set you up for the position to get points right away. Now, let's get this offense back rolling again, create some momentum, just get a few first downs, and I'm in scoring position. After the last run, would you just give it to him again on third down? 
They go to the draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. And the Bearcats will send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. And the offense takes over to dip into its bag of ball plays. Out of the gun, they'll run it inside. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. And the Panthers want to crank the tempo. To the ground with the back. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. A lot of urgency for this offense. They'll try to drive ahead on third and short. Gets it to the 42-yard line, and that's a first down. FIU comes out with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, the inside give. Small gain, I know, but again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him on the run game. You've got to do a lot of this. The give to the running back from the shotgun. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. They get to the line quickly. Pulls and fired complete. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Really nice job there by the quarterback understanding that it's zone coverage on third down. You're going to have to find someone working into a soft spot, get the ball out of your hands quickly, make an accurate throw, and pick up the first. Well done. Can't find his man as he took a shot trying to deliver that football, and it'll be second down. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, they'll try the middle. Gets him down at the 30 after a 15-yard pickup. They are threatening, and they have a first down. Well, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again, right? It's been really hard for this offense in this game to run the football, but they finally break off a big run there. That could be the play they need to really generate momentum and get this one game going. Trying play action. They're trying. And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. That ball carrier is very lucky. That easily could have ended up in the hands of the defense. You have got to do a better job with ball security. They'll snap it for the 10th time on this drive, but they need a chunk on third and long. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. FIU will line up to punt. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. It's a draw. Knocked down after picking up five out to the 24. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. The give on the inside. At the 35, he's loose. And chunk plays are the name of the game, and they get one here before the defense finally makes the stop. Man, that is so tough. When you play defense, you get your eyes on your keys, and you got to read them, but sometimes they lie to you. You can see the little misdirection by this offense, fooled the defense, created some space. The offense took advantage and made a huge play. You'll take four yards on first down every time, second and six. Brings up second down. Looking downfield, it's Bauer. Moving, keeping the eyes downfield. He'll pull it down and run. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Here on third down. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. 
He lobs one high down the left side. And they dialed up a shot play, but they couldn't make the connection. They really have no choice here. This is a no-brainer. You go for it here on this fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Fires to the wideout. Makes the grab well past the sticks. And they finally make the tackle, but this will be a pretty easy conversion for this offense. He'll keep it himself. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Stuck with a running game on first down. Now here they come again. Give to the running back. And he finds some solid space. Makes a nice game before the defense is able to stop him. And the Bearcats are in the red zone. They turn to the passing game on third and short. Quarterback moving. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down. And he slides in safely. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll give it to the back. Tough running this deep in the red zone. He's got four down to the 11. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Power football with the run. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? Defense has dominated the early part of this game, and the stats point that out emphatically. Let's see if the offenses can find a little rhythm as we start the second quarter. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Sam Houston. Can't start a game any better than that. Defense gets the stop, gives it back to the offense. You march down the field, you score. They are in a great rhythm now on both sides of the ball. On to attempt the try. The kicker is on for the extra point. And the PAT makes it 7-0. Let's go to the studio now and check in with Kevin Connors. Kevin, what do you got? A lot of eyeballs on your game, guys, and a few on this interesting matchup as well. Louisiana Tech is on top, but it's not like Terry Bradshaw is playing quarterback today, which is why they can't pull away. They're up by seven over Utah. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. FIU pushing tempo. From the gun, the ground game. At the 35, he's got room. Finally run out of bounds, but he has his offense rolling with a first down. And that's another FIU. He's going to pass. Getting some heat. And he was hit just as he released it, and it falls to the turf. Second down after that incompletion. They'll leave it with him. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Let's see what they find in the playbook for third and long from the 43. Back to throw, it's Jenkins. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Yeah, how about this defense, man? That's the third sack of the day. They've been putting pressure, getting him on the ground. Not something they've been good at throughout this season. This defense playing better because they're getting more pressure on the quarterback. FIU will Number line up to punt. In punt formation to kick it away. They'll put that return to a stop at the 33, but the offense set up in pretty good field position. Looking for a productive play on first down. 
It'll be a draw. Slams ahead for a yard out to the 33. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Brings up second down. He's looking to throw, using his feet to buy time. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hit. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. He'll pull it on the read. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. The Bearcats getting set on first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. Now on second down. Now they're going to throw it. They're bringing heat. Moving out of the pocket. He'll try to do it himself. On the run, and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. Trying to move the sticks on third down. It's a draw. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. The Bearcats send out the punt unit. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. They've hit a bit of a lull here, and they need to get things cranked up with this possession, Jesse. Just haven't had a rhythm these last couple of possessions, but I'll tell you, the best way to get back into one is to run the football. Establish yourselves up front the line of scrimmage and help keep these third downs manageable. Yeah, and the best news is your defense at least forced a punt of their own. So now you can go answer with that good stop. And he can't escape, and down he goes. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. They've already racked up big sack numbers. It's starting to snowball, and they are ready to go again. On the move, it's Owens. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. FIU pushing tempo. Looking to throw, it's Jenkins. Trying to get to him. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. What a great job by this defense, now, setting the tone down. early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. FIU will Number line up to punt. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today, and no doubt he's going to earn his varsity ladder. Really good job by the coverage team to make the stop, and that's where they'll put it in play. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. And they're able to shove him to the turf as they stop him for a short game. Third and long, and he'll try to throw for it. He's going to take off. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. They're happy enough to try to take the points as a field goal unit. And the holder, they fake it, goes to the tight end. And they're not going to pick up the first down on the fake field goal. I know they wanted to be aggressive, throw caution to the wind. They might have been better off playing it safe there. He's going to let one fly down the middle. He's going to... They will score! Touchdown, Florida International! And there are times a quarterback and receiver just have the unspoken language. He's lined up to the left side. He's looking down. There's nobody in the middle of the field. The quarterback kind of just winks at him and says, I'm throwing you this post. You go get it. Go score a touchdown. Man, that is exactly what happened.
He'll try to tack on one more. Blitz the uprights. That's the kind of drive everybody loves. So see quarterback one snap, put it in the end zone. All tied up and just about set to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. On the run, it's Gentry. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. The big pickup on first down leaves them with second and one. Back to the ground with the running back. Good pickup there as he gets the first down, and they'll mark him at the 48. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He leaves it with his back. Fighting off the defender. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. They'll run this play from the pistol. When they've got him looking run, now to pass. Trying to make magic with his feet. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. The Bearcats racing to the line in the hurry up. Nice job by the QB, sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home, take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. Dropping back, it's Bauer. He finds his man. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Line is set on third down. They'll try to get it through the air. Well, the defense playing zone coverage there. They're taking away all of the QB's primary options down the field, so he has to check it down to the drag running underneath. They'll throw it on first down. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. Going to work in the red zone, they can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Finds his big tight end. Touchdown, Bearcats! What a catch and run for six. And I just love the execution by this offense. Late in the half, man, you want to take the lead. You want to get that momentum on your side, and they do it. They finish it with the passing game. And I'll tell you what, heat that passing game up. You can keep this lead, keep the momentum, and keep putting up numbers. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point is true, and they're on top by seven. They took it 68 yards on that drive, and they finished things off with an eight-yard toss for the score. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Florida International offense is back on the field. They torched this defense with an explosive passing play for a score last time out. Let's see if they go right back at him. Hit hard just as he released it on first down and just couldn't get it to the receiver. On second down, he'll try to make the connection. Catch in the middle. It's Owens. Great job by the quarterback thrown against zone coverage. You cannot telegraph where you're throwing the football. You cannot eyeball wide receivers. So great job by the quarterback using his eyes, not staring down his guy, and then throwing him open. They'll go to the air on third and short. Coming after him. All kinds of time to survey the field, and he'll let it go to the left. They finally make the stop, but that one will make those halftime stats look, look nicer as we head to the break. We've played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Gentlemen, what else is new? A really raucous environment there in Miami. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. 
those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. And with that, let's send it back to the guys at Ricardo Silva Stadium. FIU has it on a tee, about ready to go here in the third quarter. And he's going to bring it out. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. If it's working, why change it? And that running game was working in the first half. I imagine we'll see a lot more of it here in the third quarter. And you just know the offensive line was telling their coordinator, put this on us. Let us continue to go out there, push these guys around. We can put this game on our back and end this thing by running the ball. And this is a manhood question for this defense. Like, as a defensive lineman, and you're pounding the rock, pounding the rock, like, I gotta physically rise to this challenge. This defense has to play more inspired and more physical in the second half. He's gonna run it. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The Bearcats come to the line with a fresh set of downs. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. A confident, tough, efficient run gets it up to the 44. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. Wide out in motion. Quarterback flips it ahead quickly to the receiver. Nice move there. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. And the Bearcats are moving quickly down the field. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. The run from the shotgun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Quarterback now breaking the field. Trying to escape and get it himself. And sure, tackle there to keep him from getting to the first down marker. And the Bearcats will line up to punt it away. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. They'll go to the counter play. They get it out to the 36 and on the move after a pickup of 15. The Panthers come to the line in the hurry up. They're going to go right back to him on first down. It's going to be important this offensive line is able to get a little bit of push. You just got to give this guy an inch, a little crease, and he can make yards for it. Quick release on the RPO. He goes down at the 47 after a five-yard pickup. The offense will put it in play from the 47 on first and 10. Well, they pick up the first against zone coverage. I think a big part of this for young quarterbacks out there is if you're going to be throwing into zone coverage, you got to throw on time. You can't stare down receivers because the entire defense has their eyes on you, so you can't telegraph where the ball's going. You've got to hold it to the very last possible second. Try to freeze defenders with your eyes and then throw the ball into open areas of the field, anticipating where your guy's going to be. And a nice run there before the defense finally makes the stop. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it. Feeling some heat. They've got the play bottled up. Fumble, it's out. Defense covering it up and not letting the offense get it back. It's a turnover. And the quarterback just couldn't bring himself to pull the trigger and get rid of the ball, and they knock it free. So let's give the secondary tons of credit, right, Reese? They were doing an outstanding job in the back end in coverage, not allowing any receivers open, and that's why the QB had to keep holding it and keep holding it. That allowed the pass rush to get to him, and that created the turnover. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Here's another opportunity, Jesse, to stretch out this lead after punting last time. I think it goes back to your playmakers, Reese. I think it's finding the guys that have been working for you earlier on in this game and getting them the football. 
and there's obviously no need to panic. I mean, think about it. You got the lead. You got the football. You got to be smart with the football. Make your plays. Put a good drive together here. Really good surge for this offense. They move the change, and he's got it at the 34. They go to the ground. They'll rip off eight on that play. It's second and two. Got a little work done on first down. Now back to the line. Second down. Just when they're looking run, now up top. Quickly out to the tight end. He's run out of bounds, but he's got enough to move the sticks. From the 17-yard line, threatening to score on first and 10. They're in the red zone, and they'll pass it. Steps away. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. All right, offense has got to be better. You've done a nice job getting the football to this point in the red zone, but now you can't go backwards. You've got to be able to get rid of the football if it's not there, and that was a terrible play giving up the sack. They gave up the sack on first down. Now it's second and 11. Scanning the field, it's Bauer. Throws to the wideout. He caught it! Can't quite cross the plane to get the six, but they'll have the first down. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. He'll try to slam it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Bearcats! Offense gets the job done again. You want to build that cushion as we get deeper into the second half. Man, it makes it easy, doesn't it? You start getting up by a couple possessions, making the offense very predictable on the other side. Great job by the offense extending their lead. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point puts them on top 21-7. to and for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. Louisiana Tech is on top, but it's not like Terry Bradshaw is playing quarterback today, which is why they can't pull away. They're up by a field goal over UTEP. We'll circle back. If anything big happens, you should know about it. And how about that one? Kevin will be keeping an eye on everything going on elsewhere. They'll run it to the right side. Defense not budging. He's still able to get two to the 29. FIU pushing tempo. Shotgun snap. Wants to throw it on third. And the defense is all over the quarterback, and down he goes. Man, this defensive end is a monster. I mean, you've seen his athleticism and his speed and his bend and his flexibility. He now has two sacks, and there's still a lot of football to play. FIU will line up to punt. And these guys have been busy. Sixth punt of the day. Let's see what he can do with it. He was hoping for a little more running room, but they're able to get him down at the 45. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Jesse looking to take it down the field for back-to-back -back touchdowns. I think it's really important for them moving forward, too, to have a lot of balance, right? You want to be able to keep this defense guessing, Paul. Yeah, and you got me searching for answers after that last drive. You stack another drive on top of this, their defense's heads are going to be spinning all over the place. Quarterback on the keeper. Got the first down and more. All down at the 38-yard line and a big pickup of 15 yards there. On first and 10 from the 38. Leaves it with the back. Found a little running room, and they get him stopped after a pickup of six to the 32. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Going to take a shot. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Trying to pick up a first down. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. Grabbed over the middle. It's Smith. 
And he's not down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And first down for the offense. That's the end of the period, and Sam Houston has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. As we start the fourth quarter, it'll take a pretty sizable comeback to win this one. And the Bearcats have this offense rolling. Wants to throw on first down. Unloads to the wideout. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. They'll line up for a second down play. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. He stopped after a one-yard pickup at the 25. They run into a bit of trouble here. Third and long for the 25, and the last thing they want is to get knocked out of field goal range. He'll take a shot. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. He'll be fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit. Between the uprights, it's good. And now the lead's extended a little further. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. FIU gets it back, and the Panthers will send the offense back onto the field. Pressure coming. And the Heat will get home, and the quarterback goes down at the 17. This defense has taken the game over. They're winning the game in large part because of how dominant they've been up front and how good their pass rush has been. They come to the line hoping to get some of that yardage back from the 17. Back to pass, it's Jenkins. Sings it complete to the right. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there. Still a bit short of the first down. Now facing a third and long. From the gun. Wants to pass. Pocket starts to collapse. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. Down by multiple possessions. You can't come up empty on this drive. They'll go for it on fourth down. They're trying to get to him. And they get to him and sack the quarterback, and they'll stop the drive on downs. And I get it. At this point in the second half, dude, we got to make something happen. We, we haven't been good enough. We got to score a lot of points and quickly. You got to be aggressive. They tried, they failed again. Um, this game is all but over. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. Be interesting to see what happens here in the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Well, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. They're going to go to the air on third and short. Touchdown, Sam Houston! And the punishment has been extended. They're on the board again, and it looks as if this winning streak is going to continue. Salt into her wound, right? Late in the fourth quarter, you can run the football, run this game out. No, sir. I'm going to continue to pad my stats, find my receiver out wide, and get me another touchdown. They'll try to add another to their lead. 
And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish it with an 11-yard touchdown dart. Fielded in the end zone. It's Jackson. Stopped at the 26, brought it out of the end zone, picked up an extra yard. The Florida International offense is back on the field. What a turn that last drive was. Didn't pick up the fourth down, and it led to the scoring drive, David. And the, and the pressure gets there. And down he goes at the 18. The number one job is to protect your quarterback, and they weren't able to do it long enough that time. This offensive line, Reese, they've got to do a better job communicating pre-snap and try and figure out which people on defense are going to be rushing the passer. Right now, this offense just looks confused up front. So let's see if they can make up for that loss on second down from the 18. Back to throw, it's Jenkins. Getting some heat. And this defense has maxed out this pressure. Another sack. You got to give the defense tons of credit because we know how much speed this quarterback has. That time you saw the pursuit. They were able to bring him down for a big loss on the sack. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Looking to throw and he needs a bunch. They're bringing heat. Didn't have much of a choice, just had to throw that one away. It'll be fourth down. FIU will line up the punt. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Fields the punt and tries to work it the other way. And the returner is stopped. The Bearcat offense ready to go back to work. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And he makes the stop as he gets it inside the 30 to the 28, a gain of four. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. Out of the gun, the inside handoff to the running back. Knocked down after a three-yard gain to the 25. Balls at the 25, they're in field goal range, but they love to convert this third and short. They'll try to run for it. Just outside the red zone, as they pick up the first down, they'll spot it at the 22. The Bearcats come to the line with a new set of downs. The give to the back. Determined effort to pick up six and get it inside the red zone and down to the 16. Six-yard pickup on first down. Leaves him with second and four. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. The Bearcats are moving quickly down the field. From the gun, give on the inside. Mark it off as a six-yard gain down to the six-yard line. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. And he never had a chance to get the pitch off on the option as he's tackled in the backfield. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Using his legs, keeping his eyes downfield. Touchdown, Bearcats! And the pummeling has started. That score will give them a little more room to operate here in the fourth quarter as they go for their sixth straight win. Man, this has been a complete performance. The defense has been lights out, and the offense, obviously, just continues to pour it on. This is what you call having a great day, putting it all together, offense, defense, complimentary football. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point just tacks a little bit more onto this huge lead. And let's check in with Kevin Connors in the studio. Kevin? Terrific showdown this week, guys. Let's take a look at what's going on. Louisiana Tech is on top, but it's not like Terry Bradshaw is playing quarterback today, which is why they can't pull away. They're up by a field goal over Utah. We've got our eye on things here and everything else going on right now. And any updates, you'll see them here, guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. And now on second down for this offense. 
Looking to pass. It's Jenkins. Going to try to get it himself. Got to protect the merchandise. Gets down without taking a hit. They'll try to muscle their way forward on third and short from the 29. Looking to throw for it. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And trying to put points on the board on third down. Now they're staring at fourth down. No signs of any kind of kicker as they'll leave the offense out there to try to move those chains. He is stopped short and they'll turn it over on downs. Just a crushing blow at this point in the game. They'll keep it on the ground, trying to milk the clock. He's all the way down to the three. An electric run has him set up. We reached the two-minute warning, and this offense is that much closer to salting away a victory. They'll try to get it in with the run. And we have breaking news. They score yet another touchdown. Points, points, and more points. This offense has had their way. They just keep their foot on the gas, keep putting up points, keep putting up touchdowns. And you know what? This is one of those stats days. You look back and you're like, that guy had 12 touchdowns on the year. Well, four or five of them might have been in this game. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They didn't have a whole lot of real estate in front of them when they took over possession, but they wasted no time. Couple of plays into the end zone, bringing it back. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Guys, FIU ready to go back to work on offense. They're going to throw it to start the drive. This one has pretty much been a bludgeoning, but they'll try to finish with something positive late. Well, they ran into a buzzsaw today, and I don't think it would matter what type of X's and O's they're out there executing, David. Jimmy's and the Joe's, they just, they're just not as good as the opponent today. And, and as an athlete, it sometimes hits you in the face. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Looking for a man. It's Jenkins. Trying to get to him. And the quarterback made himself at home in the pocket until the defense finally raided his house. Down he goes. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. Coming after it. And here comes the pressure, and there he goes down again. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, he'll need to push it downfield. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. FIU will line up to punt. Now, a fourth down. Slips through the line. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return. Gets a little bit of ground for the offense. They'll go to the ground. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Second down coming up. When you know you have a team outclassed, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right? You know you're better. You know you're going to win the football game. But how do I continue to still execute? This, this was so easy. Great execution. Uh, just beat down in every facet. I think as a player, you just love being in such great rhythm. And we saw that right from the get-go in this game. Offense just able to matriculate the ball down the field. Defense was not giving anything up. What a great game plan coming in. And this was just total domination. That's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, our entire broadcast team, I'm Reese Davis. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.